Fishing Freaks, welcome back to the channel. The last video you saw, I was elated with getting my new silver bullet. We took it out, we tested everything out, and then I left for a trip. I left for the longest Guggen trip we've ever had. It was over a week long, and I was in another territory across the ocean. I was in the Caribbean. I come back, it has been torrential rains ever since I've gotten home. While I was gone, today is the first decent day, and I come out to the lake, and it is completely flooded. Not only is it completely flooded, the boat ramp is closed and a number of lakes, they are closed because the lakes are very, very high right now. Probably dangerous to run around as well, but I just got to fish. I got to give her a dangle. So what we are trying to do today, just freshly coming out of being in, in, uh, in the Caribbean, coming back to freshwater, I just want to feel the tug. I want to feel the tug on some things and I've got a, a few options. I want to look for bass. In white bass, so I brought a uh, just you know a medium power pole with a spinnerbait on it, Pff, half ounce white spinnerbait catches just about anything that eats the shad. And then I have also broken out the long fly pole. Let me tell you why. So of course I hook up the boat and I come out here yesterday, and I see the boat ramps closed, and I just had to go down there and smell the water at least. So I walk down there and I'm seeing shad spawning like flickerings. And then I see carp and smallmouth buffalo just cruising in the shallows. And those things put up an, an amazing fight. So I want to try to see if I can target some of those today. See if a bass will bite. See if a white bass will come up and give us some schooling action. Whatever it is, tug is the drug. So let's get to walking around, see what we can find. All right, guys, let's do a little walk in here. Immediately, I'm seeing just floating debris in the water and there's some shad that are actually out here. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for any white bass that might need some attention. And also there's gotta be some carp that are floating around eating some of this freshly flooded grass. And when I say flooded guys, we're talking about the parking lots are in the water. Whew, got two of them right in front of me. Right, they're right in this parking lot. He's got his nose down feeding. Oh, he's got it. Oh my god, I got him. I got him. Yes. Oh my god, this is a big one. He picked it up. There we go. We're on. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's waking up now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, guys. I'm in a parking lot right now. I'm hooked up on a giant. Look at this rod bin, guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've got three X for my leader, so I need to just take her easy. He's gonna wake up a little bit. There he goes, there he goes. He's really rocking now, he's awake. <laughs> Now he knows, he knows what's going on. So what I was really looking for with a fish was it just, it's tail up, nose in the sand, just eating up those little uh, creatures down there. They're, they're going after the bugs that are living in this grass. So, oh, he's wrapped. Be real careful right here, I'm gonna try to untangle him. There we go. Now I got you by the nose, buddy, come here. Super careful right here. Yeah, I know, I know. I know you're big. This is crazy, y'all. You know, I love to fish for everything. The tug is the drug. And because this area is so flooded right now, I could not launch my bass boat. I just thought, I'll just come down here and see if there's anything eating in the grass. Get you over this parking lot lip. All right, guys, I can barely pick him up. I'm just going to let him go. I'm going to give him a full send back into the box. There he goes. Wow. If that's the only fish I catch, that one was worth it. 
That was a magnum. So, oh, I am soaking wet now. I needed that little refreshment. There was two of them right there. I ended up hooking that one that was in front. It was sort of deep. And I just felt that little tick. Set the hook and he was on. But uh, we're going to try to find another one. All right, I see some carp right here. Got his nose down in the grass right here. Look at this. Oh, I spooked. They saw me. Damn. That was like perfect position. I was up high. I've never, I've never actually hooked a, a common carp like that. Okay, I'm gonna go with one of these natural colored scuds. All right, we'll try that with no weight. It's still pretty light, we'll see if that works. Just following a mud trail right here, guys, and I see another one with his face into the mud. Let's see if I can sneak around and get this guy. Oh, God. God, it spooked him. I just barely touched him with the line and spooked him. God, that one was perfect position. Got him. Got him. There we go. He picked it up. Come here, baby. Get out of those bushes. Oh, that's a carp. It's a common carp, guys. Oh my gosh, I've never caught one of these on a fly. Oh my gosh, I thought it was a smallmouth buffalo. Oh, please do not. Please do not go in the bushes. Oh no. No, 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 no. We can't have that. Stay over here, baby. Stay over here. Stay over here. Oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Never caught one of these on a fly. Always the smallmouth buffalo. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't go in those bushes. Let's let's fight together in the shallows. There you go. It's a pretty good size one. Oh my gosh. If I can land this one, guys, this is a big deal for me. First common ever on a fly. It's on that little scud. I got a barbless hook here, so really got to keep the pressure. There we go. There we go. There we go. God, I sat on him. I sat on him for like two minutes. And he kept going back and forth. I basically had to lace it right on his on his nose with this 10-foot pole and just leave it there. And I think he just sucked it in by just sheer sucking, just sucking up stuff around him. Basically flossed him. Oh my gosh, what a fight. Oh yeah, the sucker's fighting hard. <laughs> I've caught these on rod and reel before with uh, bread, but never a fly pole, and they always fight so hard. But never on a never on a fly rig. So smart. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Let's do this. I tried to catch. There was another small one that was just feeding like crazy in the leaves and he just spooked on me. This guy was in the dirt, which I think is good because my fly was in the mud, just kind of kicking it up. Dude, they just are not giving up here. Not giving up. It's all right, we're keeping them out of those bushes. Starting to tire down. 
Oh, this is how crazy this is. Uh, there's a parking lot beyond these bushes. This guy is right, right on the bank. Come on. Gosh, I wish I had my net. I forgot my daggum net. There we go. Yep, I can see the fly. It's in his mouth. It's right on the top of the lip. He's hooked great. Just need to keep pressure. Come on, baby. Just need to find a little shallow spot. I can't pull too hard. I don't want to rip his lips. You are pegged with a super soft rod, buddy. Don't get too crazy on me. Now, this is the hard part, landing with a 10-foot pole. Come on. There you go. There you go. Let's see if I can get you behind the gills. Oh, there we go, guys. We got him. We got him. Look at that. My first common ever on a fly. Look how perfectly he's hooked right in the top of the schnoz. I barely felt it. I'm using a very sensitive rod, so I was able to just feel the light tick, but I really just saw him moving away. I saw my line moving. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I know. I know you want to move around, buddy. Look at that, guys. That is so cool. That fish is probably around five pounds or so, and he put up a mega fight. My first common ever. Look at that. Awesome. Really, really cool. All right, I, you know, don't really love these guys when I'm bass fishing, but gosh, they are such a cool fish to catch on rod and reel. Just very smart. I'd say it's one of the, one of the smartest fish in the lake. There he goes. That was awesome. That just made my day, guys. PB common carp on a fly. My first common carp on a fly. And man, what a fight. <laughs> you know, that's longer. That's a longer fight than uh, reeling in like an eight pound bass, which is pretty fun. Played him perfectly. Didn't get him in the bushes. Wow, so hard to catch. So I've only, I've only gotten two out of probably 20 that I've attempted. And I've attempted many common carp before they're always just too smart, you can't catch them. But they are eating these bugs that are in the grass. Just have to put it on their nose. There's so much to eat that they're not gonna really come out and get it. You gotta put it right where they're sucking. Whew, that was awesome. Ooh, there's a buff right here, big buff. Big buff. Oh, there's a common and a buff together. There's a common and a buff together. It's so hard, I almost have to be able to see 100% their mouth. I have to be able to see their mouth too. Put this right in their feeding zone. Got him. Got him. Oh my gosh, that's two just right there, quick. Man, I can tell you what, these buffs do not fight as hard as the carp. I, mean, I don't even think he's hooked in the mouth. I saw my line moving and I think I, I, think I, get it. I, think I got him on the outside. I did, I did. Okay, y'all. Well, I just, I had that, that fish, but it wasn't hooked in the mouth, and it totally bent my hook out. Magnum. Oh, God, he's close. He's close. He's close. You're tricky, aren't you? You're tricky, aren't you, buddy? Ooh, man, they're smart. They're smart. That's okay. Just got to be a little bit smarter. Oh, 
gosh, there's a big one. Suck some mud. Being mud suck. It's on the move. There he comes. Now he's sucking. Got him. He's, he's on. Suck some mud. Suck some bugs. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. I can't tell if he picked it up or if he moved my line and he's foul hooked, but he looks like he's in the mouth. He was actually cruising and I cast it in front of him. Oh gosh, yeah, he's waking up. He's like, hello. Here I am. Power the buff. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Gotta get that head control. Come here, buddy. Guy, he's doing circles. He's doing circles. He's, he's getting this line, the line tangled in his, his dorsal fin. Oh, yeah, he sure is. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now I got control of the head. This hook's already been out once, so I can't can't be too strong with it. Oh gosh, they're good at getting that dorsal fin in the line. So we'll see if we can just finagle him. Come on, baby. Come on. get you on shore yeah he's hooked in the mouth he ate it he was just on the move fly rod that is just crazy there's the fly right there that little scud did it twice just popped right out barbless look at that hey I know it ain't a it ain't a green fish it ain't an edible fish by the way I've tried eating these I'll link that video here uh-uh uh-uh not a plan but man, they sure are a fun fight, and anytime you can sight fish, that's fun. That's really fun. So let's let this guy go. You're home free, buddy. You're home free. Oh, let's get you, get you going. They're resilient. Oh, get you upright. There you go. There you go. And buffalo gone. Woof! What a challenge, guys. Sight fishing for these things are they're smarter than they look. In a parking lot. They like it. Look at this grass. This is yard grass. Look at this. That's grass that is typically mowed. Oh my gosh. Saw a buster right here. A freaking fish busting shad right here. Come on, baby. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I got him right there. Oh, large mouth. There we go. Here we go, guys. Largy in the parking lot. Hello. Hello. It's not the fish that I saw eat, but it is a bass. <laughs> Beyond the parking lot, actually. How cool is that? Yes, sir. Always good to get a green one as well. Let you go in the lawn. <laughs> Came back for more. The old spinnerbait attack. Look at that, man. Look at the trash can right here. Might be some fish on the picnic tables. Oh, there's a big one. He's just, he's in clear water. He's gonna see me. He's gonna see me. He knows, he knows my tricks. Let's see if I sneak up on him. Oh, he got it. He got him. I felt him suck it in. There it is. I just felt that little on this sensitive, sensitive rod. Gosh. This is crazy awful. I've, I don't know if this is what these fish are trying to do, but it seems like they are taking their dorsal fin and trying to post it up and grab the line and twist and torque that hook out. I don't know if that's actually what they're doing, but gosh, it seems like they're trying. How cool. So that one right there, the, the long pole, big advantage, stuck it right in front of his face and he was just sucking the grass around it. Oh, don't get in that grass, buddy. He was sucking that grass around it, and as soon as he got over my bait, I felt that boom, just like a little jig bite, and I set the hook. Oh yeah, well oh, he's woken up. He's woken up now. I can tell you the commons definitely fight harder than the, the smallmouth buffs, but they still put up some good runs. But I'm telling you, it's like they, they put that dorsal fin up and they twist trying to get that, that hook out. It's weird. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't go in that bush. Nope. This is a delicate balance because I can't put too much pressure on him. So I'll bend the hook out. But I don't even know if they want to go in the brush. I don't think they're that kind of creature. Like a bass. Holy moly. This guy's not even that big, but he's just dogging me right now. This is so much fun, guys. This is so much fun. The lake's just flooded, and this is like opportune time to do this. Come on, baby. Uh-huh. I see you. I see you working. Show me that belly. I show you their belly. They're pretty much done. Uh-huh. Say that. You're done, aren't you? This rod is a four, no, it's a three weight. I'm sorry. It's a three weight nymph rod. So <sighs> fighting a four or five pound fish on a, on a three weight is a challenge. Golly. Oh. All right, this one is definitely 
Definitely wins the best fight of the smallmouth buffalo for the day. Come on, there you go. Get up in there in that grass. Let me scoop you. It's a little bit bigger than that last one. Oh yeah, he's a pretty one. He is pretty. Look at that. Oh. Set a rod down right here. Try to get a hold of this fish. Look at him, he's just sucking. Get this hook out of your soft little mouth. Had you hooked perfectly. Right in the schnoot. And there you go, guys. That fish is bigger than five pounds. He's heavy. It's a nice fish. Beautiful smallmouth buffalo. Not a mark on him, just fresh. And uh, look at their lips, man. It's just so funny. Just a weird looking creature. But catchable with the right presentation. There you go, bud. Woo wee! That's awesome. Just like that, fishing freaks. We got our tug, and that is the drug. We turned lemons into lemonade. This is not a good situation. I wanted to get in my boat. I wanted to give her a dangle. You know, get back, get back in the boat and just get familiarized with it and everything. But we just couldn't do it today. But I advanced my skills on my fly game. I got a new PB with a common carp. I think we ended up catching four, four carp species, and we got a largemouth bass too. And I just saw another buster out here. And I think it's because the water's clean. Like the bass are liking that. I'm surprised I haven't seen white bass. Maybe if I got here really early in the morning, maybe in the evening, they'll come up in this stuff because all this water was very muddy before. So anytime you have a lake that gets some flooding or pond or anything, and you got bush, fresh bushes in the water, they can move up in there within, you know, a day or so. But the challenge is just you got so much water to cover, especially on a lake where there's just tons of more acreage now. So any of you bass guys that maybe have a fly pole sitting around and you're watching and go, what? I didn't know you could catch those things. Let me tell you, you can. We proved it here today. And if you're wanting to do it, it's pretty simple. You can get your just basic fly set up, but you wanna, you wanna a line that sinks. You get to put your fluorocarbon on there, get something light. These, these fish are smart, like six to eight pound probably go with like six and then get you a nymph a nymph is any fly that sinks down in the water but you can get those for cheap you can get them off amazon right now they're they're just cheap little little nymph flies and they they have a bead in the front i tie some of them myself they're pretty easy to make but if you just want to go get some and try some of this get you some of those little scuds oh a, a woolly bugger could work a small woolly bugger just anything that resembles a little tiny bug that's just hanging around in the grass or up under rocks and stuff. And if the bass and crappie and all that stuff tough for you, eh, break out that fly pole, have a little fun on those suckers. But I'm gonna pray for no more rain and we can get our lakes to subside a little bit and when that water starts pooling, when they pool in the water and then you get out on those points that have the brush and you daub and you throw a spinner bait and you throw top water, that's when they start getting good, y'all. That's what we need right now and that's what I wanna do. Get my boat out on the lake, so stay tuned for more action with the new vessel and if we have to, we'll stomp a mud hole on the ground and we'll fish it. Because the tug is the drug. I've said that a hundred times, but you know the deal. Smash the like button for catching fish in weird situations. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more fishing, hunting, outdoor content. We do it all right here. Thank you guys. I love you. I'll see you on the next one.